Bye. <laughs> Y'all, it is literally so late. It's 8.30 right now. I feel like such a freaking bum whenever I wake up this late. And I'm like, babe, like, this is summer mess. Like, wake the fuck up. How have you guys been liking summer mess? I have been wanting to cry. It's so rewarding seeing you guys, like, be like, I love summer mess. So today, sunscreen because it is literally 100 degrees outside. Today's like a summer day in my life. We're gonna go swimming today because it's been so hot outside. It has been over 100 this whole week. And like, I know I'm not paying like $3,000 in rent to not use the fucking pool. Like, you guys see me in my rags. Like, <laughs> like who's gonna tell this bitch to change? Come on. I'm on my last days of my period, thankfully, because babe, mm, let me get dressed right now. I cleaned the kitchen last night, so everything is like nice and clean. It's just clean. Like, it's such an accomplishment to wake up to your house clean. Like, ah, I got my life together. So yeah, basically, I'm ready. I got the fit all together. We got shorts. We got this bodysuit from Skims. And then my jump blouse from Chili's. I need to buy more, actually. They're like B. And I'm wearing my nice, cute business bag because I'm going to go be a business bitch right now. Love these tote bags that you just open. I just grab my Sony and... You know? <laughs> so it is 9.15 right now. I did some makeup real quick to cover up my acne. Like, if you didn't see me before, you'd think I have no acne. You'd be like, oh, she has clear skin. No, she doesn't. <laughs> We're going to Starbucks. We're gonna pick up my latte. Tell them where you met. Yeah, we'll be so like <laughs> where you met? <laughs> I accidentally bleached her ears, the bottom of her chin, and her neck area because I put some Quit. I put some Neosport, not Neosport, new stock, which is like for dogs or whatever. And I didn't know that shit bleached their fucking fur. So let's go to Starbucks. Look at what a rock did to my car. It literally chipped the whole thing off. Ah! The baddie mobile. No. That was like the last thing I needed to actually go take my car to get fucking fixed. Because like a month and a half ago, my insurance finally paid me. Finally. If you guys didn't see that video, I got hit. Like that had happened back in fucking December. And then we were going back and forth with the fucking insurance, which is funny because it's the same insurance. Bruh. Like the girl who hit me had the same insurance that I had. So you'd think they would have been quick about it. No. And then to top it off, they gave me a thousand dollars to fix my... Now I have to show you guys the damage because you're gonna be like a thousand dollars sounds like a lot. No, let me show you. It looked worse if you saw the video. My dad popped it in, but this whole thing is in cracked. This whole thing cracked. The car is on, so you can't see it, but it has a crack and it has scratches all right here. Scratches all right here. Scratches all right here. The fact that this is cracked, they're gonna have to replace it. They're gonna replace the light because it's cracked. The damage is bad, but like the lady hit me in a place where it was like a bunch of different pieces together. She literally hit right there. She said, fuck you. I just have to actually go and like try to get it fixed, but I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't fucking gone. Bruh. And now with that fucking rock that hit me, like. Also, I broke a nail. Thank you. We got my drink. Oh, I know I always talk shit about the cold foam, which I still stand by that, which is why I mix it. But if I just say like sweet cream, they don't add enough. Bitch. But when they have these new zippy lids, I can't like hold it and then like queen, queen, queen. You know what I mean? Cause it spills, it's too big. So then I need a straw to stir it. I also got a sandwich. And I'm not trying to lose. Pulled up to the new house and I'm gonna put a photo right here of kind of how it's actually no I'm not <laughs> I just really do not want to expose where we're gonna live I have too many fucking security issues already where I'm at at my fucking gated apartment I don't want to deal with it getting this town home to live in for I think like a year or I don't know how long our actual house is gonna take to be built because we haven't even found our actual house like I'm talking hypothetically we're looking it's hard to find like a house that I actually really like the goal is to not pay rent anymore so buy a little townhome live here instead of rent out an apartment while our actual house is being built and then waste like 40 grand in a year where we could just add it to our actual house you know what I mean I do want to know there's nothing wrong with renting I loved it till I did it the neighbors the management but mainly the money it got expensive quick, but if you love renting, go for it. Whatever, I'll show you guys how it looks, but I'm gonna try to blur out as much as possible. And if you know where this is at, like, don't comment it. Like, why would you comment that? So this is how it looks. That's a really big update compared to how it looked like a month ago. Anyways, it is time for Ellie's vet appointment. Jake and Ellie are walking to the vet right now. 
Remember how I told you guys that Jake was gonna walk with Ellie here? They called me freaking out that they weren't gonna make it to the vet. We had the appointment at 11.15 and they're walking slow as fuck so they're not gonna make it so I can pick them up and look at them. Is that my baby? So gorgeous. We are at the vet. Are you excited? Bitch! <laughs> He's so gorgeous. Two. She got worse. I'm just like, I'm trying so hard not to cry right now because I'm so sad. So we're doing x-rays again right now and we're gonna go to a cardiologist. We'll have to call. Jacob is inside pain and they gave me like a little card numbers of like the best cardiologists. Uh, so currently we don't have our cardi cardiologist in today. August 8th is the soonest available that I have. Wondering if you guys have any cardiologist appointments? Uh, we don't have cardio here. You would have to call them. Look at this dirty ass room. I did laundry and then last time we just went to sleep so we dropped that laundry on the ground. Let's clean it. The living room looks so good. The kitchen does too. This fucking thing is still broken. Bruh. what good pussy sounds like. <laughs> right now basically like super super late i freaking fell asleep watching this like show and i'll put it like right here if you guys want to go watch it it's not a show it's a movie it was so good there's just been too much going on today like the whole ellie thing has me like stressed the fuck out we're gonna go to target first because like it's a summer day like starbies look at how cute i need it we got to the shoe aisle so cute right let's try them on They're my size, but for some reason they feel so fucking tight on my feet with fat feet things. Mm. Oh, these clear stackable containers. I thought they'd be different. Honestly, it happened so fucking quick that I don't know how my car got that fucking full like that quick. And I didn't get any produce. Back at home, getting fucking dark. It's 7 39, so I need to hurry up, give y'all a quick little haul, put the stuff in the fridge, and go out and take the girls on a walk before it gets dark. Okay, quick, we're gonna put like speedy round, right? Protein oats, Hawaiian burger breads. First time I've ever seen them. Granola. Sorry, cup of noodles because some days ain't nobody trying to cook. Peso sauce. Sound like Jake right now. Cacao powder for like brownies because I want to make some healthy brownies. And then my little storage basket. There's this new cereal. Had to get it. Strawberry milkshake cereal? What? Turkey. These new little towels for my oven. Mexican style cheese. Well, you're not. Oh! Butter flavored like spray. New little chanclitas. Salt. Vanilla. Greek yogurt for my overnight oats. Heavy whipping cream. Coconut oil. And some protein pancakes. I got some rice cakes. A mop head replacement. Microfiber cloths. Muffins. Some floor cleaner with this little sponge to put in the shower to like clean the shower. Cleaning gloves, tortillas. I also saw these and I was like, okay. Power paste from Scrub Daddy. That was it. Actually, I did get a case of water. Yes, yeah, sir, we're on a trip. 
with our little mommy pouch on. We're on the little late night trip. Kind of late, it's 8 p.m. right now. We're gonna keep walking, update each other in a bit. The couch that was super pretty now has laundry that needs to be folded. There's laundry everywhere on the ground. That needs to be washed, but we have the washer and dryer running. I'm just trying to get as much dump as possible right now. I'm just trying to take a nice bath. We did a mile and a half. Pretty good if you ask me. We've literally been out of salt, like literally out of salt. I bought the girls some stuff and the package came in. Look at it. The harnesses were like on sale and this one's like so dirty, the one they have, so I got them a new one. And I also got them a yellow set with her leash, pink leash, cause their leash is dirty and beat. Pink poopy bags. I need some cereal, so we're gonna eat our strawberry milkshake cereal that we bought. Oh my God, this smells so freaking good, you guys. If it tastes as good as it smells, if you're an OG, you added strawberry Nesquik to your frosted flakes and then you added milk. I did that shit all the time growing up. Did anyone else do that? I said, damn, bitch. Got out the shower. I brushed my hair and everything. I'm putting on my deodorant right now. Fresh sheets feel so fucking good. Like, 10 out of 10. Jake, help me put them right now because this shit's so hard to put on. Like, why the fuck are sheets so hard to put on? My acne, not giving at all. Like, it's just so annoying and so discouraging. It's one of the most mentally draining things. Especially, like, I've been dealing with fucking acne since, like, 7th grade, bitch. Like, <laughs> And I've never been able to see my skin clear. So, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed, y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's Summer Mess episode. Please keep Ellie in your prayers, and I will keep you guys updated June 20th when we do take her to the cardiologist. Right now, I've just, like, I feel like I've, like, cried enough about it, and I'm just, like, just need to try to have hope that, like, everything, it will get better. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Summer Mess vlog. Good night. Good night.